Hey guys, so I got the front part of the chassis and the front suspension done. Uh, you can see here uh, one of the uh, headers fell off. 
the exhaust manifold. Uh, not surprised. These uh, I built a few of these Camaro kits from Revell, and I always have trouble with these. So I'll just put that back on once the uh, engine is fully glued, fully set. Um, Once that's done, I'll move on to the exhaust and the rear suspension, and that should complete the chassis then. Uh, the engine still needs to be weathered, uh, as well as the underside of the chassis. Uh, the chassis I'll probably weather right at the very end. Um, a couple of decals need to go on the valve covers. I'm a bit back and forth on how much underhood detail to put on here. Um, the reason being I mentioned in a video quite a while back uh, but so long ago nobody probably remembers but this kit is a 396 big block in this Camaro kit. Uh, I believe the Camaro in uh, Lost Girls is a 350, I think. So this is a hood from an AMT. I think it's an AMT or an MPC, one or the other. So you can see this has the kind of, these kind of vents in the hood top. Um, that's the reason why I'm using this hood. The hood that came with this car is a cowl induction hood. So I'm using the 396 engine because it belongs with this model. So to try and get away from any fit issues when I mount the body to the chassis. Smaller engine it should have fit but I'd just rather stick with the kit engine even if it's not correct to the TV show. Um, but anyways using this engine and not using the cowl induction hood which has cowl induction on the top which means more space underneath this hood may not fit with this engine so I may not be able to put the air cleaner on I may have to take this uh, sorry I may have to take this uh, distributor off I may have to take the carb off I don't know um, if I do have to end up doing that of course I'll be gluing the hood, the hood shut so uh, I'm pretty certain that once this hood is once this engine is built up completely with the air cleaner and everything on it this hood will not fit it won't be able to go down far enough so because of that I'm a bit a bit hesitant of how much effort to actually put into under hood detail on this uh, so I'll give that a bit more thought uh, as I go forward and like I said if I have to glue it shut I don't really care I might glue it shut anyways I don't know so, uh, so anyways guys, that's where I am now. Uh, like I said, hopefully the next video, uh, it'll be the exhaust and rear suspension and that will finish off the, um, that'll finish off the chassis with the exception of the wheels. Um, I'm also not using the kit rally wheels with this either. Uh, I believe it was Chris Cortell, I think sent me the actual wheels that I need for this kit uh, as you're seeing in the, in the uh, TV show so um, I know I've said it before but uh, thanks again Chris uh, there was actually a few guys who helped me out with some parts for this kit so uh, so anyways guys that's where it stands right now um, uh, as before uh, Thanks for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned for the updates. Yeah.